What up there guys, this is Jughead82 and uh, this is going to be a quick video but I wanted to get in this uh, kind of like a review of a particular liquor that I was curious about. Uh, now, I like my brandies, um, you know, depending on which one. Uh, use my favorite brandy that I tend to kind of elevate to is Christian Brothers and as you can see this is almost gone. But Christian Brothers is a excellent brandy in my opinion, it has a really savory uh, caramel taste to it. Um, it's, it's not over overpowering. You, you can you can sip it, and you know I I prefer Christian Brothers. I've also drunk in NJ. I like NJ as well. Palm and Sun. Um, there's a couple in betweens. Um, this is actually also a response to. Ronald the Ride, uh, I've shouted him out before on my channel a couple of times, uh, usually with beer reviews and so forth, and I was watching a review he did of this particular brandy that I have here, and it's called Corbel. Corbel is a Californian champagne Schindler, Schindler, or so, so like, um, it's a brandy, um, and, uh, most of the brand is like, like especially like if some particular cognac or, um, for instance, um, I know he was talking about Hennessy, and the reason I didn't say too much about Hennessy because I drink it every old sudden. Maybe calling me a cheap bastard, but it is what it is. I don't really, you know, and that's and that's a stellar liquor, but I don't really go toward it like that. Uh, my cousin, he loves Hennessy. He drinks Hennessy. Straight out the bottle. <laughs> He's hardcore with it. Uh, but as I, I, I noticed with the bottle itself, it's like it looks like a wine bottle uh, because the company or Cabell is known for their wines. And um, so about a fair doom, it's that way. Now, damn, I'm going to open this some gun up. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Let's we'll just tear it off right there. And cover right there and I don't have a chalice or that particular glass that Ronald has but I do have my glass <laughs> for just a little bit in here and price wise this is a, a fifth and this was this is a cheap one this was like uh, uh, all together like 11 bucks but like I said with Christian Brothers that's around 12 or 13 dollars as well so it's not that's why I say, uh, first of all, there is a very, very distinct color. Uh, traditional, of course, caramel, brown, you name it. So, mm. oh, yeah, you can you can definitely smell that uh, sweetness to it. I can definitely tell it's going to be sweet. I think I smell vanilla in it too. So let's get ready to taste. Caramel. Sweet notes. Kind of fruity. Kind of like grape. Slight little burn, but not nothing that uh, is unsatisfied. Uh, unsatisfied. What the hell? Uh, it's not that in and out. Um, <laughs> uh, usually, when I drink my brandies, I don't always drink them straight. But I usually mix them with Coke, sometimes orange juice. And I thought I was weird when I said I mixed orange juice, but I saw people actually do mix their brandies with orange juice. So, yeah, I guess I'm not as weird as I thought it was. But it's not bad. Would I get it again? I would not preferably get this particular brandy again. Um, I was curious to find out about it. And I'm like I said, my particular brandy of choice is Christian Brothers or an NJ, if you name it. And just like I said, they say, I mean, to, to, to the ones that like Hennessy, cool, man. I mean, you know, it's, it's I've had Hennessy a couple of times. It's it's really good. It's smooth. Uh, 
But man, I guess I'm just a frugal person when it comes to my money. So yeah, but I I would say if you want to try it, go ahead, go ahead. It's not as it's not bad. Uh, it's just not by a little cup of tea, if you will. But yeah, this has been my review of Cabell Corbell Brand. And oh yeah, by the way, it was another brand I was from that else. Now I did get try this Ciroc brandy, and it was pretty decent. And I, uh, once again, a little bit more price up, but you know. But yeah, Corbell brandy. But yeah, this is Jugget eighty two signing off. You guys have a good one.